So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at my new camera, Hasselblad 503CW. I recently picked this up and I recently took it out for a test drive for the first time with a roll of Ilford HP5, which I haven't shot before. So I took the camera locally. I didn't want to travel too far. As you guys know, I recently had a back operation and I'm recovering really well from that. I haven't used this camera before and there's some things that I've been wanting to try out and get familiar with. The camera doesn't have a built-in light meter. It's got a waist level viewfinder, which I've not used before. I've come from range finders and normal SLR type cameras. And I haven't loaded the film before in a back like this because it's got interchangeable backs. So I just wanted to try it out locally before I took it a bit further. So in this video is about that. Is it gonna go well? Well, let's find out. Let's watch the video. So we've got the camera loaded. I think we've done it successfully. We shall see when I get, when I try to take the first shot. I don't know where my family have gone. They've kind of wandered off a little bit. So I'm just going to wander around and try and find them and maybe take some photos along the way. So we'll see what happens. We're, we're loaded and ready to go. And uh, looking forward to seeing the results. Hopefully it turns out great. Okay, so we've done the first image. Uh, it was with my 80mm lens. We're now in the gardens, so I've got 11 shots left. I'm going to try and take a couple of shots of these gardens and try and show you that. There's different themed gardens like Chinese, Tudor. <laughs> for the camera. You ready? Stand back and do a nice smile for Dad. Thank you. 
So I hope you enjoyed watching that video of me using the Hasselblad 503 CW for the first time. All those images were scanned by myself using my Epson V800 scanner and Silverfast software on my computer. If you'd like to see some tutorials on how I actually scan my film, then I'll leave links in the description section down below and there'll be some links that'll pop up here in the screen. So I thought it'd be quite good to give some thoughts on the camera and the film itself. In terms of the camera, not having a built-in light meter into the body is a bit of a pain in the ass, to be honest, for that type of shooting. Normally I do landscape photography and the camera's on a tripod and I've got my light meter and, and that's okay, but for kind of street, semi-street photography like that is, I would probably prefer a built-in light meter, if I'm honest. That being said, I thought my exposures were okay, so I think that's testament to my light metering and if you'd like to know how I light meter then I'll leave a description, a link in the description section down below and you can check that out and there'll also be a, a link that'll pop up here in the screen. In terms of the viewfinder, it's quite tricky if you've not used a waist level viewfinder before because the image is flipped, you know, left and right is back to front and that's a bit tricky. It, it takes some time to get used to it. It just meant that I was a lot slower composing my images and perhaps that could be a good thing. So the other thing to mention is that this waist level viewfinder has a little magnifying diopter that pops up so it gives you a more magnified view of the ground glass for when you're doing your focusing and it turns out that that diopter is not right for my eyes and it turns out that I missed focus on a couple of those shots. So I need to get that sorted out, I need a diopter that's suitable to my eyes so I'm going to have to try and find one. Loading film into the back of the camera was pretty easy. I did watch a video before I did that, but once I'd watched the video and I did it for the first time, I felt fairly comfortable with it, and I don't think you should be worried about that if you're considering buying this camera. In terms of Ilford HP5, I kind of really like the look of the film. It's nice and contrasty. Um, I think I probably should have shot it at ISO 800 instead of box speed 400, and that's partly the reason why some of my images were a bit blurry, because some of my shutter speeds were quite slow because it was quite overcast on this day. But that being said, I really like the film, the way it looks, and I'll definitely be shooting it again. So that's my initial thoughts on the Hasselblad 503CW and Ilford HP5. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.